uh, 3.1c periodic phenomena unit 3 another FRQ style question a prize wheel used for a game show has an electronic motor that allows a circular wheel to spin at a constant speed in a clockwise sense uh, until a contestant presses the stop button uh, the center of the wheel is 30 inches away from the point a so this is 30 inches and intent attempt equal to 0 a is the lowest point on the wheel which is over here and the distance between the point A and the label table is 15 inches. So, okay, be careful here. This uh, is given to us as 30. All right, this is given to us as 30. And uh, between A and the label table, it is 15. So, this is given to us as 15. Okay, all right. Uh, the wheel completes four revolutions, four full rotations in every second. Okay, so that's not the time period, right? Because the time period is the time that is taken for only for one rotation. So if four rotations take uh, one second. So one rotation obviously will take quarter second, right? Four rotations over one second will be equal to one rotation over X seconds. So if I cross multiply, then 4x is equal to 1. So x is equal to 1 over 4 or 0 0.25 seconds. That is the time period. Okay. Again, a situation is given that models the distance between A and the label table. And we need to figure out what are the possible coordinates of these two points, uh, these five points. Okay. So at t equal to 0, I know that the minimum distance, minimum height of point A is 15. And minimum is represented by J. So it has to be something comma 15. Um, then the midpoint will be when A comes here, which is obviously at 30 units. So it will be 30 plus 40, 15, which is 45. So something comma 45 and something comma 45. And then it goes 30 units further so 30 plus 30 is 60, 60 plus 15 is 75. So this will be, F will be in 75. So something comma 75 and something comma 75. Okay, obviously this can be T equal to zero, but then these times will be negative. That doesn't make any sense. So uh, minimum time is uh, uh, after uh, this much time as well, it will be at the minimum value because this is the period. So this has to be 0 0.25. And 0 0.25 must be divided into four equal pieces because after all, uh, this is four pieces. These are four pieces, right? One, two, three, four. So one cycle is divided into four pieces. So if we divide 0 0.25 in four pieces, 0 0.25 divided by four, that comes out as 0 0.0625. And all we have to do is just subtract 0 0.0625 from here to get G and then again 0 0.0625 subtract uh, subtraction to get F. So I can just write over here so that the coordinates of G will be 0 0.25 minus 0 0.0625 comma 45 and the coordinates of F will be 0 0.25 and twice of 0 0.0625, which is 0 0.125. So 0 0.125 comma 45. And likewise, the coordinates of K will be 0 0.25 plus 0 0.0625 comma 45. And for P, it will be 0 0.25 plus 0 0.125 comma 75. That will be the, okay, I think I, uh, taking the root 45 here this should be 75 so these will be the coordinates of the five points and then they are asking between j and k uh, how is the behavior of the function so between j and k if we notice that the function has to be uh, is definitely positive and it is increasing as well clearly uh, positive because the y coordinates are positive so it is positive and increasing it has to be a and how is the ROC changing? So as you can see, this, this is a concave up function. So ROC has to be increasing in nature for the function to be concave. 